Now, the black summer bushfires engulf much of eastern Australia and claimed 33 lives. But dig a little deeper and the toll was much higher. The smoke killed nearly 13 times more people than the flames themselves. And now there are concerns that the lessons learnt then have been forgotten. A state of emergency has been declared in New South Wales. A catastrophic warning in place. Catastrophic conditions are where lives are lost. It's where people die. It's a firestorm. A disaster so huge. There goes our house. So far reaching. <laughs> crushing lives. <laughs> and costing 33 families their loved ones. It's created emptiness. Three years on, Cheryl Lee is still coming to terms with losing her younger sister, Courtney. Time doesn't always heal. I think that there's a great injustice in losing somebody so young and so unexpectedly in the safety of their own home. But Courtney isn't counted in official figures because she died from a sudden asthma attack as the fires raged around her hometown. It shouldn't be this way. It's not like some unknown rare disease where we have no means to prevent it. People should not be dying from asthma in this day and age. But incredibly, the Black Summer Royal Commission heard that more than 400 people did. There's a lot for us to learn in that number, but we're just not learning it yet. Where do you think it went so wrong with the black summer bushfires? We were struck with fires of a magnitude, a scale, a duration that was completely unprecedented. So it took us all unawares. Michelle Goldman is CEO of Asthma Australia. The public health information at the time was to stay indoors, uh, to close your windows, to close your doors. And unfortunately, the, f the smoke went on for weeks. Would you say that if... Courtney had access to more data about just how poor the air quality was, that she could still be here today? A what if is, is something that I tend to like avoiding, but if she had access to the information, she at least would have been able to make informed decisions. It makes me really mad. I feel like my sister and 400 other families and people have been let down. To put the statistics into perspective, this week marked the 40th anniversary of the Ash Wednesday fires in Victoria and South Australia, which claimed 75 lives. Since then, there have been repeated bushfire emergencies around the country, with a combined death toll of 345. That's still 72 fewer than the number who suffered fatal smoke-related asthma attacks during the Black Summer disaster. We need to do more and we need to do better. You can go right down to a suburb level or you can... To try to avoid repeating mistakes of the past, Asthma Australia has developed a new app called AirSmart. AirSmart is aiming to do for air quality what SunSmart did for sun exposure. It gives real-time, localised air quality information. Information that could prove life-saving for a chronic asthmatic like Ebony and you can decide whether it's safe for you to go out, whether it's safe for you to, you know, go for a run or go to the shops or whether you should be waiting, you know, till the afternoon where, you know, it might clear up. Now she won't leave home without it and believes everyone could benefit. Everybody knows somebody in their family who has asthma. You can tell where the petrol stations are cheapest at, but you can't tell where the air is clean. The fact is that air pollution does kill several thousand Australians each year. Research tells us that bushfire seasons are gonna get longer, they're gonna get hotter, they're gonna become more frequent, and it's not going to not happen again. And the AirSmart app is up and running and available through Asthma Australia.